when you're solving a verbal problem, it's very important to read only a few words at a time. Rarely will you have to read more than five words. So I start reading six less than. I immediately know that it's going to be blank minus six. Six less than is a key to say that you are subtracting six from something. I take a closer look at the question and it says twice a number. Whatever is after the six less than is what goes into this blank here. So it's going to be twice a number. I don't know what that number is, so I can call it 2n. If I don't 2n, I can call it 2x, whatever. Is means equals. Negative 14. That's straightforward. Now let's solve it. Yes, you have to start by drawing the line through the equal sign. That tells you how to balance it. There will be things on the left and things on the right. I want to eliminate addition and subtraction first, then multiplication and division. So to eliminate this subtraction right there, I add 6, whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. I added 6 to the left, I add 6 to the right. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, so it goes away. The 2n, nothing is being done to it, so it stays the same, equals negative 8. The n is not by itself. 2n means 2 times n. I get rid of multiplication by dividing both sides by 2. n equals negative 4. Read the question quickly again to make sure we have it. 6 less than twice a number. Well, twice this number is negative 8. 6 less than that, we go farther to the left on the number line, I'm going to go farther left on the number line, the negative 8, it's going to be negative 14, is negative 14. So the question makes sense.